Pick on me. <laughs> Sup? Sup? Dora the Explorer. Dora the Explorer. <laughs> it's a dinner round table with the Kennedys. <laughs> Guitar's got a hell of a range. Hell of a picker. Usually they got pick guards on them. Hmm. My first guitar ever. Dora the Explorer. And I just decided that today, as I'm announcing, I'm selling it. I'm naming it Dora. <laughs> you named it the day you said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're selling it. <laughs> uh, who who are you selling it to? Anybody who wants it. Oh. COVID, hard times. I got family stuff to deal with. Is what it is. So it's for split. sale. It's for sale. Well, I mean, to to anyone right watching here. right now. To anybody who wants it. I just figured I'd throw it, throw it out to you hollers first. Would be cool if uh, if anyone out there was looking for a guitar and likes the band and if it went to someone who it meant something to. But if not, I'm hip, and we're all doing things we don't want to do and all going through hard times right now, so it is what it is. I got family shit to deal with, so whatever. There's more guitars. This is the first one I ever bought. What year? 2007, when I was 17. Mm. Whew. I gave music lessons for a year to save up for this thing. Recorded, recorded, yeah, there. recorded the first... Did they do any electric guitar on the first Howl record? No. No, there wasn't any electric. Yeah, so in Nuckshuck, Thrashgrass, there's no electric either. <laughs> that was a, the only electric was that, I guess it was on a Nuckshuck, and it was on Out of the Garden, obviously. What about Clean as Dirt? And then, oh yeah, then it did the whole Clean as Dirt record, that yeah. and my Schachter. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, if anybody's interested, PM the page or me, if you're interested in looking for a new guitar. PM or DM, your preference. I don't know what that means. Well, you're thinking private message. I'm thinking direct message. Are we still talking about... Okay. (laughs) I played this riff last week. I remember liking it when I went to... Sounds kind of sinister, right?
gives me like visuals of digging. Li not like digging, like literally with a shovel, not like digging it. <laughs> Dig. <laughs> gives me visuals of you guys digging this. Because <laughs> it's that good a riff. <laughs> Download my fan app. I just got <laughs> <laughs> I can't laugh that I'm gonna max out the mic. Okay. I have gotta tell. That's what I gotta tell. Why can't I why can't... because it's too good of a story to so I don't wanna hold a mic, it's like a Alright, fine. I'll hold this mic. Use this one. No, use this one. So um <laughs> Holy Toledo or Aaron and I were laughing about this a while ago. When I told her this, we were busting out laughing. So on tour, I, I can't, I don't know about any of you guys out there, but I can't sleep without a fan, like um, without like a, like a circular fan or a box fan or something. I need the constant like white noise. I can't, I can't shut my mind up. Um, That's not exaggeration. I, I've witnessed. Yeah. No, like people who've like, of yeah, like people who've spent time with me know that like, Amongst a myriad of sleeping pills and things to drown out the sorrows, I also <laughs> no. I also need I also need a fan, a electricity, an electricity powered fan, and um, and this one time back in the good old days, um, before the world ended, we were on we were on tour, and we were in the hotel, and um, Aaron was on tour with us, and. There was a night where I just could not sleep because I had left my fan. And I'm talking like, I think that night I'd slept like 20 minutes, you know, like after like, like five hours of misery. And, uh -huh. and this was back, back in the, back in yesteryear. So a little bit of a whiskey. Yep. Um, and, um, oh boy, I just could not sleep. And finally, like after a long time of Aaron trying to keep me cool and just, just bring it bring like slow the train down it just i could not sleep and i've passed out for like 15 minutes i think maybe and we had a show the next day and so um but i did have my fan app on my phone which is basically just like a white noise generator on your phone so it just blares a little signal out of the speaker and it's just like a and just like different levels of fans and it's cool because you can choose different fans so i can get like the fan that i like mm -hmm. you know like a classic white circular box fan and then <laughs> so that didn't help at all i like shoved my phone in my ear and like had it like inside <laughs> of my ear and it's it just whirring and it's just not the same as your fan. so i told dave so i told dave this story i was like yeah we were on tour and i just could not sleep and i said i have my but at least I had my fan app so I could get like 15 minutes of sleep. And like the look, the look of like codified horror on your face was like, I'm trying to think of like a film example. It would be like, I can't even think of an example where like it was just the shock where you just like like whipped your neck around like Dick Cheney after the 9-11 readings or whatever. And you like whipped your neck around and you were like, and you like gave me the, like the rock, the people's eyebrow. And I and I, you were like, your fan app, <laughs> and this horror. I was like, yeah, my fan app. You know, <laughs> sounds like a fan. And the way that Dave interpreted that, <laughs> so the way that Dave, I mean, the picture that you painted. Correct me if I'm wrong. Was that <laughs> I had an app on my phone, a fan app, that recreates the sound of fans cheering, <laughs> cheering. <laughs> So I said I can't sleep without my fan app, and Dave pictures me going to bed and just being like, "All right, night, guys." And I put my, I click my fan app on, and it's just, "Woo, yeah, yeah, oh fuck yeah, you made it, Alex." Alex. <laughs> I, I like, I haven't laughed that hard since I was a young girl. When like when I told Aaron that we were dying, like I was doubled over laughing at the idea of me like just going to bed and going, Oh god, I'm I'm tired guys. I'm calling it early. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Come on. One more song. <laughs> and I'm just like 
<sighs> Can't sleep without my fan app. Oh man. <laughs> coming coming to the Google Play Store near you <laughs> soon. Fan app. Fan app. You must. <laughs> fan app. The, the, the free add on is is the alarm portion of that when people start yelling free bird. <laughs> yeah. Free bird. <laughs> dig so much. <laughs> the, <dig. laughs> the one that I dig. The visual the visual I get is of you guys digging it. <laughs> of all the of all the Play some Pantera. Someone who can actually play, actually oh, play electric guitar. Yeah, Zach's pretty good, man. He's all right. <laughs> Should sell this to him. <laughs> Tell him to buy. <laughs> I bought a drum kit for him earlier this year from the for the studio. It was a nice t- drum kit, studio kit, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I think it's a Mapex or a Tama. <laughs> I don't know. I barely know what this was before I went to sell it. You can tell it's Zach's because it's got the double kick. He's the only one mm-hmm. that I've seen that, that uses the double kick up here. I sure as hell don't. Josh doesn't either. fan app what'd you say Woo! yeah Alex Woo! oh my gosh how's everybody out there got YouTube got Facebook got Instagram I tell you what put something in the comments let us know your preferred platform is it worth 
is it worth the the work for us to go to all three or is there is there one that's the best everybody's on what's that new one that everybody oh, dude what instagram iphone storage full you can free up space don't tell me these things it don't tell me that Instagram didn't work again. It stopped. I'm going to... Go again. I'm going to hit not now. Yeah? And then what does it say? God, oh my... And it says... What does iPhone storage have to do with going live? Why does it need to record it? Woo! It doesn't want to do it. differently because I can like hear what the drums would be doing in my head that's one thing I was trying to talk with my students um, my songwriting students this week some of the guitar based ones about uh, lessons this week I was trying to talk to them about um groove change and feel change and how how feel change from half to full to double and all the way back to quarter is interpreted in my head from the drums from kick and snare placement and I can just audiate it in my head and hear what the drums are supposed to be doing. But when you're just moving your head back and forth, you look like a psychopath. But it's hard to 
it's hard to express that without having someone locked into you. I, I was trying to explain this to a couple of buddies of mine, groove change and feel change, and I was it's, giving them the worst example. I, figured, I tried to show them a Mashuga song, which was dumb. That's a terrible and then, example. And then two weeks later, after we got into a knockdown, drag out fight about this, the best we e were talking about Pantera. No, yeah, the best example is Metallica. Is, is Ride the Lightning is the best example because he because the idea is that for a the, the best like cut and dry example, and we do it a lot in in bluegrass. Like Green Sky does it. Obviously, the Howl does yeah, it. Yeah, Green Sky does. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. Um, but in in metal, like a cut and dry example is the post chorus riff in Ride the Lightning, where they do this. And this is the example I like because the musical the music. The, the riff does not change at all. Same tempo, same key, same notes, same rhythm, same, same everything across the board except the kick and snare placement changes. I mean, Lars's right hand is even, I think, doing the same hi-hat hits. Mm -hmm. But the kick and snare goes from... You know, just changing feel while the music bed stays completely identical. So I think that's the best cut and dry example of only a groove change switching between the drums controlling how people in the audience are going to bob their heads. That's the best thing in high school. You see dudes listening to that in a Taco Bell drive through and you're going to see them starting <laughs> bobbing their heads like this, and then they're going to start going like this, and then they're going to start doing the double time bob. Yeah. You know? I, I, I really dig when, uh, when metal drummers do what they should be doing on the hi-hat with the kick drum they they take the double kick or the kick drum and they keep that that micro time with the kicks but they slow the snare way the hell down oh okay yeah so doing oh and so doing like a quarter time or a half time beat and just right. rolling the kicks through yes okay i, I love that i think yeah, that's such a like cool that. i do like that you do like that that's the way to win I've my heart. yeah i've caught <laughs> I've caught a fist or two in the face from you at a metal show because of a, a direct result of that. <laughs> Speaking of fists in the face, um, the Christmas show this weekend. That's, that's what I can promise you you're going to catch if you hollers. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Seriously, though, tune into this thing, for God's sake. Mm -hmm. It's the 13th year in a row. And it's on December 12th, and it, um, Aaron Zindel and everybody on her team, myself included, but her especially, have been working so hard to put this thing on. It's such a good show. It's the best Christmas show I've ever seen, let alone been a part of. And The Howl is on it. We're doing a Christmas video on it. It's going to be streaming live on the eBird and Friends page, on the Ragbirds page, and on, did I say the and The Howl page? The Eber and Friends mm -hmm. page, the Ragbirds page, and the Native Howl page. It's going to be out there. Tune in, or I, I, I don't want to say what's going to happen. Just tune in. Yeah, pre-show you were saying something about lawn darts. Yeah. <laughs> By saying anyone, if you don't tune in out there, I'm going to come and I'm going to stick a lawn dart in your chest. Tune into this show. Just do it. Just watch it. It's a great show. Share it. Go to the page. Go to the Howl page. You're going to get a little notification that says we're live. Watch the show. It's what's a great the date show. Again? What's the day? December 12th. December this Saturday. 12th. Boom. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Eastern. Boom. 8 p.m. Eastern. So I actually, I should message all my, message, I should message all my students and tell them, this is with some in Central and then some in the UK. Mm -hmm. Just tune in. You're going to get a notification from the Howl. Just watch it, for God's sakes. I'm on it. I'm the worst musician on it by far. Like, like easily beaten roundly. There's, it's an amazing, like a cast of amazing musicians. Just watch it. You're gonna love it. It's great. Tune in, share it, and there's donation links. You can you can support the show. I'll po we'll post the link tree in there in the comments after we're done yep. here. Yep, we will. We'll post that so you can check out the donation page. This is an amazing show, and Aaron's going out of her way and literally putting her life on pause to help out all these artists. Who, who are hurting right now, and the, these artists who are on the show who you know normally have money coming in and none of them are working, you know? So it's a, it's a really amazing show that she puts on every year. We'll put, the, we'll put the donation link, but just watch it more than anything. Just watch it. I keep looking at you, but I don't know who to be looking to. It's the Truman Show. No, I... The Facebook, you, you Facebook, YouTube, 
Instagram. Is Instagram still going? Is it yes, going? Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. Do it. Do it. Do it. Everyone, just watch the show. You're going to get a notification. The Ebert and Friends holiday show. You're going to get a notification. I'm going to spam you with it. I'm going to knock on your front door. And I'm going to ask you. I'm taking roll call. I'm going door to door. I'm going door to door starting on my street here. Going heading west and then working my way down. And I'm going to find you if you don't tune in and watch it. <laughs> Just watch it. Share it. Help out. Yes. Oh, and after that message, I should <laughs> I should say um, we can't do it. We we can't the how can't um, we can't really do a a, a charity show like we do usually every year, um, or you know things are so weird with COVID right now, and um, and financially everybody's hurting. Um, so I was thinking this year I I told you howlers out there who watch this thing. That I was, um, that I've been given online songwriting lessons, and I figured the least I can do is maybe if some of you guys out there know somebody who's really struggling and having a hard time and hurting this holiday season and loves music and ever wanted to get in songwriting or is interested in music theory or is just down and you feel like music, a couple music lessons would really help them out, and whether it's a, whether it's a kid or someone who's older. Um, someone who likes songwriting lessons would help their holiday season. Lord knows we all can use a little the light of the Lord right now. Um, if, uh, if anybody out there, you can think of anyone that would uh, that likes the band or this would something like that would brighten their day. D, what is it, DM or PM? Either one. Whatever. Send the, send me a, a, a via carrier pigeon. Strap a Dead Sea Scroll to a pigeon. Put the studio address and give me their name, and I'll I'll come to their house personally. If you stick a lawn dart in their chest if they don't watch the Christmas show. Oh, gosh. No, no, I will. Uh, and I'll do that too. But then I'll give them a good music lesson. Music is therapy. Then uh, I'm gonna pull like this. I was I'm feeling be- ex- extremely down a few weeks ago, and and you and I for a couple weeks in a row took yeah. took an hour after the cast and just played some music. I feel like I'm slumping. Do I look like and I'm slumping? It helped. I, Sorry to. Well, now you do when you. I would, but I feel like I'm. You sitting call attention place. to it. <sighs> and get you one of those kneeling chairs. Kneeling chair. Yeah, yeah like a, Swedish design chair that you kneel on. Like a, like a fold out the pew at church what the hell's a kneeling oh, it's chair? similar actually a knee pad yeah anyway music helping you in your putrid existence if <clears throat> if someone wanted to help out purely monetarily the the best way to do that is the native halls patreon correct wait we're crossing so many lines. it's it, it someone asked in the comments <laughs> yeah um uh, if they were gonna make a, a, a donation, um, is Patreon? If you want to help out the how, yeah, uh, yeah, go to Patreon.com/slash The Native How. If you want to help help the band out for sure, and we and if you want exclusive content, because because literally I I just remembered this. We're putting a new we're putting a sneak peek of the new song Sons of Destruction that we were shooting the music video for this past weekend. I was thinking about wearing my get up that I had. In the video, on in the video, the picture that we put, yeah. like with the hat and the suspenders. I was thinking of wearing that tonight, but I figured like we should push that off, and yeah. you and I should wear our get ups like the week before it comes. We'll out. do a spoiler alert yeah. cast. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking of wearing it, but it wouldn't make sense. And there's too much; nothing ever makes sense. Yes, if you want to support the band, um, we're going to be relaunching our Patreon. But if you want to support right now, there's three different tiers on the Patreon that you can join. And if you join, you'll be getting, I'll be posting tonight a sneak peek of the Sons of Destruction mix and master. So you can hear the song before it comes out. That's the music video we were just shooting this past weekend. And we're going to be shooting every weekend till kingdom come, till Christ the Lord comes back and brings me home. So <laughs> if you want to hear it before the video comes out, Patreon, yes, if you want to help the band out. But what I was saying before that, if you guys, I've been, I've been doing a s- online songwriting lessons, um, and if anyone out there knows a particular howler, or even just someone who is having a hard time struggling through the holidays, and you think, 
like if they're really hurting and you feel like music lessons would brighten their day and they could use a few free music lessons just that's like that's about all I can do right now <laughs> so for sure I'm just, just if 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 you if anyone out there has an idea of somebody that that would help please message the page and uh time allowing cuz we're all working 7 days a week right now time allow I will definitely I'll definitely make it happen. Maybe if there's more, if there's too many, we'll like throw them in a hat and we can raffle them here on the next Howlcast. Sure. And whoever, yep. you know, however many I can handle with the schedule. And if um, someone's interested in reoccurring long-term lessons, you're still accepting those, correct? I, I was going to say, I should plug that too. If anyone out there would like songwriting lessons, I can't tell you how much joy it has brought me and how much I need to thank Dr. Joe Horsch, uh, my brother, for pushing me to to do that and actually pushing me to actually do it on a larger scale and how happy how fulfilled it's making me uh teaching people uh songwriting and and music online i haven't felt that spark but there's this feeling i get when like i'm even like tonight i had a guitar lesson and just there was this this click we were doing music theory and he just one of my students had like this this aha moment this light bulb and just the oh the feeling it was so good to to know that he understood and like he was hip like he got it he knew exactly what we were talking about and i just i like as as dave came in the studio and i'm he comes in and he hears me from the other room and i'm literally screaming at my computer about <laughs> the phrygian mode yeah. and what do you i what better life can you lead until right. we can get back on stage and play shows what better can you do than screaming about e phrygian into the void correct so correct <laughs> um but most importantly right now the um ebird and friends holiday show is this saturday if you follow the howl page you're gonna get the notification watch it go to the ebird and friends facebook page right now actually and click like we'll put the links up yes. i didn't want to put them up because i knew i was going to say some ill shit and i didn't want to i think i think we skated through pretty pretty clean today yeah, I didn't say anything that bad, did no, I? No, not yet. That's what I'm saying. If <laughs> if it doesn't go off the rails, if it doesn't go off the rails, we will put the eBird and Friends uh, page in the description and in the comments and the event. So if you join the event, you'll get updates. And Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern, whatever the hell other time that you guys off in Goofy Land, east and west of Michigan are, you'll get Eight a notice. East, seven Central, six Mountain. Five Pacific, four if you're in the middle of the darn ocean. All right, now do the UK, Smarty. Mm -hmm. now, I can tell you Belfast. It's uh, I can't tell you what time it is around the clock, but I can tell you what time it is when it's noon in Belfast. It's seven here. A, <laughs> seven A, seven A. I had a, I had a, I had a lesson at seven a.m. this morning with my student <laughs> from Belfast. And he's such a good dude, and he's um really nice guy. And he has really inspired lyrics and um, such cool little like pieces of culture that him and I are sharing back and forth, things that would not that I would not occur even exist in the world. Just these, you know, the differences between in culture between just uh, regions of the UK versus even though they're much much closer together geographically the the culture divides are still there and it's so interesting to me hmm. it's like um there there really is those differences um in dialect and in music preference and it's just it's it i'll tell you what what it what it brings is it brings compositional inspiration i mean the guy has such awesome. cool lyrics and themes that are coming out of that noggin of his it's it's so cool to work with them you know and back to the songwriting thing it's just been such an honor to work with these people and just to see that to see people's eyes light up when we're working on one of their songs and to see that click that light bulb go on it's just like yes it's like to the point where i have to like i shout sometimes in the middle of a lesson not like at the end of this lesson tonight where i was just screaming into <laughs> screaming into the void about e phrygian what were we even talking about what were we talking about he, he was writing a riff and we were i was we i just started shouting about what key it was in and why it was in and then i got angry at i yeah, think i got i, I, I got came in and i just heard you through the th through the soundproof door i'm just <laughs> like i don't know if it's a color tone or <laughs> i don't know what you would call that but <laughs> just just 
screaming and I'm still I'll never get used to zoom so it's like I don't have the zoom up at the cam- up at the camera level so I've got it like down in the left corner so it's just like all he sees is like a like a bulging vein of forehead <laughs> and just probably hears like you know <laughs> But anyway, yes, I'm so happy. These songwriting lessons are are uh, warming my black heart, my black and cold and dead soul. Um, at least keeping it, microwaving it five seconds a day until I can get back on a stage before I throw myself into the river. So, yeah. if you want, <laughs> if anyone's interested in reoccurring songwriting lessons, please DM PM. Or send me a request via carrier pigeon to the studio, and I would love to talk to you about lessons. Um, quick review. You know anyone that's hurting right now and loves music and is really having a hard time? Um, that's the best charity I can do this year. Um, message the page, and we'll talk. And um, if there's more than one, um We'll do a raffle next week or something. Right before, that'll be our Christmas episode. We'll do like a raffle and I'll do some free music lessons. If anyone is interested in a guitar, this is my very first guitar that I ever bought. Explorer Pro, if you're interested, before I put it up in the public marketplace. I'd rather put it out to you howlers first before I put it out to the dredges, the scourge of society. I'd rather I would go to someone that it means something to. So if you're interested in that, and most importantly of all, Tune in this Saturday to the Ebert and Friends Holiday. That's a good boy. Turn into the Ebert and Friends Holiday Show. Streaming live on the Howl page. Go like the Ebert and Friends Facebook page. And click a, click your going on the event to the Ebert and Friends Holiday Show. I think we got through this. I can probably attach. I can attach this. I didn't say anything too bad, yet, right? We can probably attach the link. We can attach a link, but it's easy to find on Facebook. <laughs> that's, that's, so just no get one there. No it. excuses. <laughs> that means no. I'm tired. We're tired of hand holding. <laughs> Use a search bar. <laughs> Tritium. Mm-hmm.